attempt and today tutorial it would be fill in the blanks you have to solve in your notebook and uh, just uh, submit the answer okay and if you are willing to see right answer uh, then you can get, find those answer there in the book i don't believe in the uh, book uh, there would be questions kind of things so i am providing all solvents examples so all whatever example you will find there in the book all will be solve example so answer you can find in the book so actually we had already discuss uh, four actually two basic uh, principle of counting addition rule and multiplication rule and based on that we come up with four specialized principle of counting uh, ordered with replacement ordered without replacement unordered and without replacement then unordered and replacement so among these four the fourth one was the difficult one and you had seen that uh, uh, that uh, finding that counting number it is equivalent to uh, finding number of partition of k number of partitions partition k happens to be integer that is sample size and i had told that the difference between sample size of sample sample size and number of samples so that uh, these four were uh, to compute number of samples of a particular size number of samples of a particular size that size happens to be k okay so we had already seen all those so everywhere those concept will come a lot if you are uh, going for, for any kind of algorithm or any kind of problem which is dealing with finite number of things so finite number of integers something like that so every, uh, there it will come so i am just taking one more example based on those this we call it matching problem so problem it says that in a party there are n guest each person is wearing a hat and we collect all the hat before entering the two party and then randomly just redistribute the hat among those n people and giving each person one of the n hat randomly one person will get one hat one person will get one hat not like two hat because those n person with uh, n person they came up with n hat now so that's why uh, so one each person of the n uh, giving each person one of the n hat randomly okay now you have to compute the probability that at least one person receive his or her own hat that you have to compute the probability so this questions uh, this question actually in probability a single, single question can be solved in multiple way it is not like that there is only way to answer it multiple way that is the uh, freedom you will get in probability so how will solve so one approach is a principle of inclusion exclusion we will apply it here so we call we have to define certain number of events so we call it ai the event that is person receive his or her own hat then we are interested to compute probability of a1 union a2 union a3 union kind of things a1 that means first person receive his own head a2 means second person receive his own head so union means getting at least one person getting uh, its his own head okay so that is that that one is coming in term of union so we have expressed this desired probability at least one person uh, in term of uh, probability of an space peak event this is the desired event and we are willing to compute the probability so how will compute the probability so if you look into this uh, it is talking about union of ais and we know again from principle of exclusion and inclusion that we had discussed is only for two event now here n event are coming so how we can generalize it we can generalize it the first one was talking about uh, if you uh, see the pro uh, inclusion in exclusion principle probability of for two case two element case the probability of a union b so we had seen it is coming as 
in principle of counting we had seen like in principle of counting what we have to do how we will convert that thing in probability by dividing number of a point in the sample space then it becomes a probability by dividing so, so we had their count number we had number of element in a intersection a union b is equal to number of element in a plus number of element b minus number of element in a intersection b so that one was counting with numbers okay now if you divide throughout by uh, all possible uh, uh, that the possibilities then it becomes probability that you had already seen in finite sample space okay uh, so so that's where you are dividing it by n then it becomes probability so probability of a union b it actually equal to probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of now minus probability so two time uh, the common element has been included inclusion then we have to subtract one time so that's where probability minus probability of a intersection v it is very great example of inclusion exclusion principle and it is only for two event case but if you are talking about an event so just remember that here the this term is talking about summation of individual probability individual event summation of individual so if you generalize it for n case so it becomes the summation of ai probability of ai okay the second is talking about which uh, intersection of two events at a time then third will what it will come intersection of three event at a time likewise it will go uh, it is very much related with uh, binomial expansion have you heard have you seen binomial expansion so it is very much related with that also the so here sign will change also here sign is changing here the plus here plus then minus then plus then minus something like that so all these are uh, simple expansion kind of things what we call it okay and the last term it is coming like this way okay all possible intersection with respect to all element center so in the last also we have already seen here uh, there are two events so all possible intersection so only one intersection is possible among the two event so that's where last one is it is coming uh, minus 1 to the power n okay so this uh, this we call it generalized inclusion exclusion principle generalized so here it is uh, we are not taking a condition that uh, uh, the events here are mutually disjoint here you see that uh, they are sharing some outcomes common things are there so that kind of things so now main question is that in this uh, problem we have to compute this individual term this individual pro probability so we talk about uh, one by one and the first one is just we are going to compute probability of summation of ai so first so if you talk about a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 all these are equally likely kind of event all are having same kind, kind of kind of pattern so why not we just compute probability of a1 and the probability of a2 would be equal to probability of a1 so let's compute the probability of a1 because equal no a special condition is given here okay so probability of a1 equal to probability of a2 equal to probability of an so now in the second term intersection is coming here okay so if you talk about uh, intersection of any two event any two event at a time Two event at a time. N n choose two concept is coming here. So probability of a one intersection a two equal to probability of a one intersection a three equal to probability of a one intersection a n. And likewise, you will talk about probability of now. You will start with probability of a two intersection a uh, one. Probability of a two intersection a three. Why probability of why you will not um, take probability of a two intersection with a two itself because it would be the same a two. You are not taking that. So A2 probability of A2 you have already considered in the first case A. So that's why you are not taking. And pro, if you talk about uh, intersection, intersection is also commutative in nature. That means A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. So that also you have to keep in mind. And so, so the B is counting uh, probability of this one, computing probability. And likewise, C will compute probability of three event at a time. Probability of a1 uh, intersection a2 intersection a3 okay likewise you can proceed further so uh, we observe a pattern here okay 
So now we have to compute probability in the category of A and then B and then C and like that. So what is the pro so the desired probability is taking the form like this way. If you talk about the summation probability of A1 equal to probability of A2, that means uh, and we sum we are here taking I varies from 1 to N. That means one kind of thing we can say that probability of A1 is uh, some N time. So that is where we are having N time probability of A1. Why probability of A1 equal to probability of A2 and like that. Okay. So we are summing probability of A1 how many times? N time. So N time probability of A1. Now, if you talk about the second term, here summation is probability of uh, uh, A1 intersection A2, how many times it is? So, 2 taken at a time out of n, 2 out of n event 2 taken at a time. So, we say it n choose 2 and probability of A1 intersection A2. Likewise, in the third term, it would be n choose 3 probability of A1 intersection A2 intersection A3. Okay, so this is so it is more uh, feasible uh, form of the desired probability. This is the more feasible. Now we will uh, start computing these probability probability of A1, probability of A1 intersection, A2, uh, like that. So, next task is just we are going to compute. So, how we will compute if you talk about the sample of space uh, omega, it is consist of it is consisting of all possible permutation of n hat. What is meaning of all per, uh, uh, possible permutation of n hat means. What is meaning of that? What is meaning of uh, all uh, permutation? Meaning n p n. What is value of that? Factorial n. Are you getting meaning of this? N? Factorial n. If you are taking there, if you are taking k out of n, then that we call it n p k. If you are taking n out of n, the n p n. So, in the, in the numerator you will have factorial n, in the denominator you will have factorial n minus n. What is the value of factorial 0? 1. So, that uh, it would be 1. So, here if you are willing to, uh, now if you talk about a 1, what is a 1? It is talking that uh, a 1 is saying that uh, that uh, first person got uh, his, his hat back. How many remaining hat are there then? n minus 1. Then n minus 1 you have to distribute among, so permute, that will permute among n minus 1 people. In how many ways? Factorial n minus 1 ways. So that is way, what is the probability of a1? It is factorial n minus 1 divided by factorial n. And if you simplify, what is the value? 1 by n. Very simple, it may look complicated at beginning, but the computation is very simple. Just you have to understand principle of counting. It is all based on principle of counting. Now, next we talk about uh, pr probability of A1 intersection A2. The uh, modular, it is, you can say that it, is, it looks modular, but it is not modular. It is talking about cardinality, number of element. So if you are taking set, then it would be more, that single bar, it represents cardinality. But if you are taking real number, it talk, talk, talk about modulus that time. So, it depends on the situation, what situation is there. So, if you same thing is coming here. So, uh, we uh, permute n uh, hat among n people. That is the sample space. So, n p n. Now, here you are talking two at a time. That two hat, that a1 and a2, a1 uh, got his hat back, a2 got his hat back. What remaining hats we are having? n minus 2. So, n minus 2 we have to permute within n minus 2 uh, people. In how many ways? n minus two, factorial of n minus 2. So, what, the, what is the desired probability? This fact, uh, factorial of n minus 2 divided by factorial of n. And systematically you can write it, you can take it like this way. Better always we want a simple notation. Or formula based notation. So, you can bring it here. So, you can say that n p n minus 2. We can write 1 by n p n minus 2. We can write it like this way. So, that we can get a general form. And likewise, also you can see it here. Uh, what is name of this one? How you will call it? It is 1 by n p n minus 1. 
this P is capital, this one is not a probability, this one is talking about permutation. Permutation, it is talking about permutation. So, here uh, probability of A1 intersection A2 is 1 by n p n minus 2. Uh, likewise, probability of A1 intersection A2 intersection A3 would be what? 1 by n p n minus 3. And likewise, you can go to compute all those. Okay. So, substitute it back all in the, the simplified uh, desired probability, simplified form. So, what would be formula? n into 1 by n probability of a1 is 1 by n, then minus n choose 2 probability of a1 intersection a2, that one is 1 by n p n minus 2 probability plus pro n choose 3 uh, probability of a1 intersection a2 intersection a3, and that one is 1 by n p n minus 3. So, that is why we have written it like, and likewise you will go on like that. So, if you expand it further, if you simply n will cancel out here, if you simplify further, it is taking the form of 1 minus 1 by factorial 2 plus 1 by factorial 3 and plus it will go like that. It is having likely n terms, okay, so n terms, there are n terms you observe. So, uh, if you try to see this term, it is having very much uh, resemblance with uh, expansion of exponential function. What is the Taylor series of or Maclaurin series of exponential function? E to the power x, uh, e to the power x equal to 1 plus x by factorial 1 plus x square by factorial 2 plus x cube by factorial 3, it will go like that. Uh, but, but that one is an infinite series. Why? It is convergent uh, in the neighborhood of 0. That series is defined in the neighborhood of 0 only not everywhere, everywhere, okay, in the neighborhood of 0. So, like uh, uh, if you take x equal to minus 1, what you will get? If you take x equal to minus 1, what you will get? 1 minus 1 plus 1 by factorial 2 minus 1 by factorial 3 plus 1 by factorial 4 and likewise you will go like that, okay. So, if you uh, try to see in that pattern, you can say that if n is approaching to infinity, if you make it n is approaching to infinity, this series will approach to 1 minus e to the power minus 1. There is one less term here, no? Here there is one, oh, the first term is not here, so one less term is here. So, you can adjust it and it will converge to uh, actually this, when n is approaching to infinity, but uh, here when n is approaching to infinity, uh, this series will converge to 1 minus e to the power minus 1. Anyone is having any issue in here? It is very simple transformation. Just write here e to the power minus 1, expansion of e to the power minus 1. How you will write? What would be e to the power minus uh, 1? It would be 1 minus 1 by factorial 1. What is value of factorial 1? 1 itself, then plus minus 1 whole square. What is uh, minus 1 whole square? It is 1 and in denominator you will have factorial 2 and you will go like this way, okay? You will go like this way and keep, uh, what you do? Uh, up to this, up to this, uh, bring this side, uh, left side. Bring left side, then what you will have? It will imply that you will get this term. Are you sure or not? 1 by 1 is minus 1 by 1 is 1. So, if you are taking it left hand side, it becomes 1. And so, you will get, so this part is, if you are taking it right, left hand side, it becomes this one. Then you have to bring this one, e to the power minus 1, right hand side. Then, then in right hand side, what remaining you will have? 1 minus e to the power minus 1. So, that is why I am saying that when is, n is approaching to infinity, this series will approach to 1 minus e to the power minus 1. That means, e to the power minus 1, you will write it 1 by e. So, the desired probability is this. In, here, you do not have to worry about what actually uh, value of n. It may be as large as possible, but you can get probability. Can you say that is it a probability or not? Being a probability, the value must be between 0 and 1. Is it zero, between 0 and 1? It is between 0 and 1. So, no worry. It is a very fixed, uh, that means it is a, a meaningful probability.
now i will talk about uh, some specific uh, coefficient those will express in term of counting principles so first one is coming as Bern bernoulli trial bernoulli trials and binomial uh, coefficient what is meaning of all these so bernoulli trial means uh, have you heard bernoulli trial when you are getting bernoulli trial bernoulli trial means the last <laughs> second by first b in class okay if you are in class b in class i am asking you b in class just be attentive here i am very much sure that if you follow any of the probability book you will not get all the details so if someone is saying that probability is very difficult means uh, those person are unable to find detail of all those they are not giving much attention to that i have taught this course since august uh, uh, 2016 when i joined triple it there so many times i have i taught so i i used to come up with a lot of experience and i it is not like that for every class i study i always do practice i never uh, bring the previous things i always do little bit practice i always do for every class so if you do practice the things would be always in nice framework so here uh, i am saying that bernoulli trial what is meaning of bernoulli trial bernoulli trial means uh, if you are having a random experiment then there are two possibilities only two outcomes bernoulli trial it deals means a, a, a uh, random experiment having two outcome, two possible outcome only. So when if you are tossing a coin, then there are two possible outcome, head and tail. Then how you will see Bernoulli trial in other experiment, other finite uh, uh, that uh, finite sample space uh, experiment. How you will see? If you are uh, rolling a dice, can you see Bernoulli trial there? Actually, there it would be uh, six uh, outcomes: phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five, phase six. But we can convert that into Bernoulli trial. How? By saying even phase and odd phase. So one approach, even phase and odd phase. So it will be uh, converted into two Bernoulli uh, uh, into Bernoulli trial. Another way you can say that failure and success. So, if you are having certain number of, uh, uh, a, there is a random experiment with finite number of possible outcome, you can come up with failure and success as a Bernoulli trial. By using concept failure and success, you can convert into Bernoulli trial. Failure may be even odd or some other kind of things. It may be different. So, in finite uh, experiment with finite uh, possible outcome, always you can come up with Bernoulli trial. Okay. So that is a Bernoulli trial. Generally, you are getting it in an experiment with finite uh, possible outcome. Okay. If you are having that situation and a failure and success, then you say that if you are performing n number of Bernoulli trial, n number of that 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 means n simplest way simply n number of toss tossing a coin. Then in n number of tossing coin, then you get a binomial situation. In the n number of tossing coin. You will say that the, among the n toss, you observe k success. If you observe k success, then how many failure are there? n minus k failure. So by default, binary division of outcome. So there are k success, then k fail, n minus k failure. If you say probability of success is p, then what is the probability of failure? 1 minus we probability of success probability of one success have, have, it is p then probability of one failure is one minus p so uh, if there is an experiment which is dealing with bernoulli trials we can come up with binomial coefficient so if uh, what is the binomial coefficient it is saying that n choose k is the binomial coefficient why it is a binomial coefficient because if you take binomial expansion that means you are having two terms and you are taking uh, summing those two terms yeah, and and multiplying it n times so a to the power a plus b to the power n what is the formula it is n choose k a to the power k b to the power n minus k k varies from 0 to n what is the binomial uh, theorem in the algebra you might have c 
सीन दिस बानी मंत्र हम ए प्लस बी टू दी पावर एन व्हाट इज द फॉर्मूला इट इज यू आर टॉकिंग इन एक्सपेंशन वे आई वांट गो एक्स आई विल गो फॉर नो समेशन नोटेशन सो इट इज एन चूज non actually that one was concept in your high school uh, change your uh, that concept it call it n choose k better word is n choose k n choose k a to the power k and b to the power n minus k this is the binomial k varies from 0 to n this is uh, and here that's way Uh, n choose k we call it binomial coefficient because it is coming in binomial theorem so we can call it binomial coefficient also it do binary selection so that uh, by word is again coming here so there are various by things so you can call it is it is a binomial coefficient so binomial coefficient when it is coming when you are dealing with bernoulli trials when you are dealing with bernoulli trial that means there are two kind of outcome only one is failure another another one is success then binomial term by default it will come binomial and binomial distribution you will see later so here uh, n choose k we can compute factorial and divide by factorial k into factorial n minus k okay and if you talk about uh, what is the sum of this uh, all these are very meaningful things what is the sum of the term of binomial coefficient it would be What is the sum of term of binomial coefficient? Two to the power n, a equal to one and b equal to one. Then a to the power k, that means one to the power k, one to the power k is one, and one to the power n minus k is also one. Okay, so that's the sum of the binomial coefficient. It is equal to two to the power n. Then there is the identity, this identity, n plus one choose k plus one. You can break into n choose k plus one plus n choose k. you can prove all these otherwise i will give you as a homework to prove all these these are very simple things to prove okay and then uh, i start with either lhs or rhs and come up with the result and this one is also uh, m plus 1 choose k is actually equal to uh, sum of this product these are very simple kind of things proof uh, you can try by yourself so all these are related with binomial coefficient when binomial coefficient is coming when you are dealing with bernoulli trials bernoulli trial is the source of uh, binomial coefficient okay so i think it will go up to 150 now so it is already around 1250 so i will wind up this and in next class we will discuss further and uh, actually i will share this slide uh, it is not